Volstead had a close call and owner Alexa DeMaio and her husband have owned the homestead for four years, but this weekend marks a big occasion. What's going on? Yeah, so it was uh, myself, my husband Sam, and our friend Matt Williams. We've been running this place for about four years. And uh, we, we, had to, we, we had to close for some unforeseeable circumstances. We had some health issues arrive. Arise, unfortunately, uh, we just couldn't continue on, and we announced it on our Facebook page, and it was fabulous. Uh, we went viral instantly. People had outcries, please, no. I found out that four people met their wives here. Just, you know, this was very, this was much more part of the community than I had to be originally uh, thought. And uh, we had some new owners, some interests come out of the woodwork. They had been patrons for the last four years, and um, they, uh, they are going to be taking over the Volstead. So, this block party marks, it marks the transition between the old and new owners, and we're just really doing it up in style as a big thank you for everyone who, you know, reached out. So the block party is happening tonight. Tonight, and what will go on and where? Yeah, so we're cutting off uh, the street between um, Laura and Hogan. It's all of Adam Street, and we are doing... The 77 D's, which is an awesome rockabilly band. Uh, if you like Johnny Cash, stuff like that, that's for you. We have the Raisin Cake Orchestra is performing as well. Uh, Tin Can Photo Booth is will be out here. The Hippo Popsicles, um, Lasky Brownies. Um, the Real Thing Cafe is participating. Breezy's for the first time. We're really excited to have our new neighbors, Breezy's, be a part of things. So some giant board games. Should be a good time. It should be a good time. Why do you think there was such an outcry about the Wallstead closing? We have always been, you know, we, since since the inception, we we turned off loud music. You know, we're not a club thumping place. Everyone has an individual relationship with their bartender. We it's much more downtown community watering hole during happy hour. Everyone knows each other. You know, it's it's we we created, in my opinion, an atmosphere that is hard to replicate. And people, when we when they didn't have us, where would they go? <laughs> okay. So, and and is it more? Late late night or early, what's when is it? Well, we have two distinct ha two distinct crowds. We have an excellent happy hour crowd, which is all the people who work downtown, um, being so close to the courthouse. We uh, we have more than a few lawyers around here at, at five o'clock. Um, and then we have a late night crowd that's that's a little different. It's people who appreciate uh, you know good good spirits, um, you know small batch whiskeys. Uh, people come here sometimes for things that they can't find elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And drinks that are on fire. Yes, we do light things on fire. <laughs> we are known for that. So this drink is one of the most unique that I've ever had. Is this a creation of the Volstead? Yes, yes. All of our cocktails are created by either our management or our bartending staff. Uh, we let them get creative with things regularly, and every now and then some really delicious things come out of it. So. Now I'm taking tiny, tiny sips, and, and the reason for that is it is more of a bitter tasting cocktail, but it would be very easy to pace myself yes. on this because you definitely, it's not a sweet. We are using an Amaro. Amaro's are new. Uh, they're specific to the craft cocktail industry. Not a lot of other bars use it. It can only be used when balanced. They're usually Italian digestives. They're used to soothe the di digestive system before and after meals. Um, and that is definitely pulling forward, that rhubarb Amaro. So it is, it's a little bitter, but um, you know, the age of blue, sweet Hawaiian cocktails has come and gone, and this is what we like now. <laughs> well, I'm happy for you and your Thank future you. adventures, but Thank also you. I'm thrilled that the fans of the Volstead and all of the employees here are going to have a place to continue to have good times and great spirits. So cheers. Cheers.